All right. Uh, as per request, I'm gonna cover this video from the SOA problems for exam P. Uh, here are the details we have. Uh, they pretty much tell me. I'm just looking at the question here. Uh, the number of apologies in agent cells is Poisson distribution. So I mean, just immediately write down the random variable, right? It's discrete and is a number of policies in agent cells. Uh, it's Poisson. We don't know lambda, but we're given this information. The mode is at two and at three. So in other words, uh, the probability is maximized when n is two, when n is three. Uh, what does the question say? Oh, I want to write down an equation, or in this case, an inequality that will let me answer this. Uh, k is the smallest such number that the probability of selling more than k policies is less than 25%. I want to find k. Read that, read that part a few times to yourself if you need to. The smallest number is the probability of selling more than k policies. Okay, n is the number of policies sold. If I sell more than k, that's less than 0.25, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we want to know, we want to find k such that the probability, if I sell more than k, that this is less than 0 0.25. So I need to solve this basically for k. And that will do it. <coughs> that will do it, right? So solve this. So we need to first use this information right here. What does star tell me? The mode is at two and three. That means when uh, n is two, when the number of policies an agent sells is two, when two is the number of policies they sell, and when three is the number of policies sold, uh, sold, those two probabilities are the highest. And we don't know what that equals, but we know that those must be equal because the mode is the largest probability, is the value which gives you uh, it's the largest probability, and we want to know this is the value which gives you that largest probability, right? The value of the random variable. So in other words, from star, from that star, from this piece, this implies actually that the probability that n is equal to 2 is equal to the probability that n is equal to 3. How nice. We know this is a Poisson distribution, which means I can immediately just write down uh, this equation right here, right? <coughs> I know the probability mass function for, for Poisson is e to the negative lambda, uh, lambda in this case squared over two factorial is equal to e to the negative lambda, uh, lambda cubed over three factorial. Nice thing about equations involving two Poisson mass functions here is you always pretty much get this cancellation here and then, I mean, this is just easy peasy, right? How about you multiply both sides by 3 factorial, a.k.a. 6, and divide both sides by lambda squared. 6 over 2 is 3, and lambda cubed over lambda squared is lambda. So lambda is 3. That's nice. That's nice. All right. All right. So we found this. The parameter is 3. <coughs> Definitely need that. I'm not going to do really anything fancy now. So, but I will say that I'm kind of happy I'm doing this because um, this is something that comes up frequently. I've had to do this technique for exam P and I've also had to do one of questions for exam FM. So let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's write this equation out, this inequality I should say. This says the left hand side, well I don't want to compute this by the way, this is an infinite sum, it sucks. So let's compute the complement. So we know that the probability that n is greater than k is less than 0 0.25. Uh, this is actually equivalent to saying, okay, this is equivalent to saying uh, 1 minus the probability that n is less than or equal to k is less than 0 0.25. Do some algebra. This is equivalent to saying the following 0 0.75 is less than. Uh, probability n le uh, less than or equal to k. Let's write this out. This is equivalent to saying 0 0.75 is less than, if I write this out, <coughs> I can write it using a summation notation, or I could just write it out um, using the expansion. 
You should be familiar enough with the uh, by, uh, sorry, the Poisson mass function. Actually, this is the CDF. This is really the CDF, right? You should be familiar with, anyway, familiar with the Poisson distribution enough. When you're doing enough computations, you know sort of with a flavor of this, right? Uh, keep in mind, this is my, um, the lemma is three, right? So this is going to be e to the negative three. Okay, when I plug in k equals zero, I just get that term. And then when I plug in k equals one, I just get three. And then I get three squared over two factorial. And this, I guess, is three over one factorial, whatever. Dot, 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 dot. All the way to three to the k over k factorial. You're pretty much there. This is the technique I'm referring to. You may have to do this sometimes. Because look at this. You can't... There might be some really clever trick, trick for solving this for k. It's not geometric. You can't go down that road. So the way I see it, your best bet right here, and that's going to do something really fancy, which I can't think of right now, is just plug in values of k. Now, we want the smallest value. So start at k equals 1. I mean, they give you the answer. It's one of them. Start at k equals 1. And plug it into the right-hand side. If it's not greater than the 0.75, you can't use that value. So plug in a bunch of values for k, and plug in k equals 1, you get like 0.2, plug in k equals 2, plug in k equals 3. All those don't work until you plug in k equals 4. So if this is true, so we have that this is true. Or k equals 4. And that's it. I mean, it's kind of stupid. And honestly, I don't really prefer doing things this way. But remember, <coughs> you just want to get it right. <laughs> you don't really care how you get it right. Unfortunately, I mean, mathematically, I don't really like it. Because I like to be able to, I mean, real life or something. But then again, who does math in real life? Anyways, in real life, I mean, you have this inequality. What the hell are you going to do? I mean, honestly, I guess in real life, you can just keep plugging in values of k anyway. So either way, I don't know. I don't really like it. But honestly, you may have to resort to this technique sometimes because um, it works. So they have the answers there. Just go through them. It's the smallest. So we start from the smallest and then go up. Obviously, they want the largest. Start from the largest and go down. I shouldn't even be saying that. I mean, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? All right. Tell me what you think. Hope this was helpful. Uh, comment on the video. And uh, thank you for subscribing.